so you're ready to set up your Linux-based gaming PC from Maximum Settings. There's only a few steps we have to go through and it should only take you about 5 minutes to get set up. The first thing I recommend doing is going ahead and grabbing Moonlight. This is the software you'll use on your local device to stream your Linux gaming PC. You can go download this for all the multiple different platforms you might be using from PC, Mac, Google Play Store, App Store, and many others. And once you have Moonlight downloaded, installed, and ready to go, you can get back into the Mac Settings website and go get logged in. So click on the Login tab here and you should have credentials from them either in an email or whatever way they provided them to you to log in with your username and password. Once you do that, you'll get into your dashboard where we're ready to get started with the rest of the setup. The first thing you're going to want to do is get your machine started. Click the Start tab and you'll have a drop down menu. We don't want to do gaming mode just yet, you want to launch into console mode for the setup of Moonlight. You click that and your machine will get going. Now the startup should only take about a minute or so and then you'll be able to go and click on console so that you can see your VM. Click on console, click start console. You might get this warning if it hasn't been too long since your machine started, that's okay. I already know my machine's ready to go, so we'll click OK here. Now once that console comes up, we'll be ready to go ahead and start Moonlight. You'll see it connecting here, and if you get any warnings about the GPU or drivers, that's okay. We're not using the gaming GPU during console mode, so we can close these out and ignore those. The next thing that I want to do is go ahead and bring up Moonlight and get that ready to set up. So we'll go back to Summary, where we have our IP address. We'll bring up Moonlight. Go up here to this little plus uh, PC sign right here for adding a new uh, client. And you're going to enter that IP address that you have on your dashboard. Once you enter that, you'll get this little icon with a lock on it. So it's ready to connect to your machine. I'll just click on this one time. You'll get a four digit pin. You'll see that pop up here. You want to take note of that pin and you're going to go and put that into the console. So we go back up here and click console. You'll see you have this new pop up now for Moonlight. Go ahead and put that four digit pin in right here and then click accept. This should go ahead and connect you to Moonlight. And you'll see here we have success right there. So we're good to go and we're done with the console mode. And you can see here that lock is gone and we're ready to connect. But we don't want to connect just yet because we want to be in gaming mode, right? Go back to summary. Go ahead and shut down your machine. And then once you're all shut down and good to go, you're going to want to get restarted in gaming mode. So very much like we did before, you're going to go over to your start menu where it's the little drop down and you're going to go ahead and click on the gaming mode to get launched up that way. Now this is the mode you'll use all the time when you're gaming and doing other things. If you need to access your VM and work on it or uh, anything like that through the console, you'll want to make sure you're launched in console mode. Now once that's done, you'll see here Moonlight's got a little exclamation mark. It's not quite ready to connect yet, but once it is, you'll get a little open screen there. Looking at the settings for Moonlight, I'm at 4K60 right now because that's what I'm running on my desktop, but you'll have different options here for your resolution and frame rate and your bitrate. More importantly, at the bottom here is the video decoder. You want that to force hardware if possible, and also .265 here as well for your codec if your hardware supports it locally. This is going to give you the best experience. So you want to set up Moonlight that way if you can. And now you can see our machine's ready to go. We don't have an exclamation or a lock. We're ready to get connected. I'll click that and then I'll click desktop. And this should get us right into our new Linux gaming PC from Mac settings. And there you have it. It just launched us right onto the desktop with no issues whatsoever. Now the other thing I do want to show you why we're in here is the display options because this could be important for you, especially if it doesn't always pick up the, ex the exact resolution you're wanting to run. So we'll go in here, we'll click display after a quick search through the start menu there and then you'll see all the drop downs right here. You can get into display and change your resolution and your frame rate. And I'm going to go ahead and hit 4K since I am streaming at that. We'll click apply. Now this is going to be automatically done as a times two on the uh, the zoom in because 4K would be very small, which I'll go ahead and show you here as well. But it's really handy to be able to go in here and change your display settings. If I want to, I can go down here though where it says automatic two times. That's that zoom and I can click normal. I can click apply and then you'll see that 4K isn't zoomed in anymore. So that's an option for you as well if that's the way that you wanted to run it. I'm going to go ahead and click it back on here and move it back to two times. We'll click apply and then you'll see it come back that way. So easy to go in, adjust your resolution, your frame rate and your zoom ratio there for your display settings there on Linux. And there you have it. You are into your Linux gaming PC.
But there's one more thing to show you. I'm gonna get disconnected from Moonlight here. I'm gonna go back to our summary here on our dashboard page. Now, what if something's gone on with your VM or you're having issues and you need to reset it back to factory? This is really easy to do. One of the first things that I would like to do is shut down the machine. Once you do that and your machine gets shut down, it's really simple to go over into the More tab all the way over on the right, which will bring a drop-down menu. Here's your For Shutdown option and then our Factory Reset Machine option. This will take you completely back to a factory reset. It'll give you your warning that you are about to lose all of your data because this is going to take it back to as it was when you first got it. So you would just click Yes, go ahead and go through that process, and then you would be factory reset. And there you have it. You've set up your new Linux gaming machine from Maximum Settings. Now it's time to get in, download your favorite games, and start playing.